I think it's pretty safe to say we all love big screens. I have a few of them in my life, but there's one obvious problem with them. They only stay where they are, and I'm on the move a lot. It would be great to bring the big screen experience with me wherever I am without the need to set up a big TV or a projector area, and that's where some real magic comes into play, courtesy of Enreal. Unreal? Enreal. Anyway, they hooked me up with a pair of their augmented reality glasses, and they are the sponsors of this video. And because of these glasses, I have had basically a 201 inch screen available to me basically wherever I go. So let's put these on and have some fun. Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? These are the Unreal Air. You may already be somewhat familiar with the Enreal Air, a pair of glasses that sport pretty classic looks but bring some futuristic tech to your eyeballs. These glasses have appeared in a couple of different markets, but now they are available here in the US. They will be more widely available and compatible with more devices thanks to a couple of accessories that we will plug into in a little bit. To learn more about these products and to check them out yourself, I do have links in the description and in a pinned comment below. The first thing we need to appreciate is just how normal this whole setup seems at first. I mean, right here I haven't even opened the case up yet, but this is just a glasses case for all intents and purposes, and it can fit in basically any bag or backpack. Once we open it up, however, the glasses appear, with the design of them first standing out. And by that, I mean that the glasses don't look like too gnarly at first, until you turn them around and you see some of the tech that has been built in. What you see here are two Sony micro LED panels that are specifically designed to provide not just a large projected screen experience, but also to allow you to see through them whenever you need to interact with the real world around you. Now, obviously, these two screens work in tandem so that you can float your content and your viewing space comfortably on top of the real world via one perceived image. But for the purposes of this video, I'm obviously only able to record one side at a time. Included with the glasses are a few sizes of this nose piece right here, but this is the original one that was already installed, and I've been fine with that, though all of them are adjustable. We get this USB-C to C cable that connects the glasses to any device, and it has a nice textured material to it. By the way, these glasses don't have a built-in battery as they are meant to be powered by the very device that they are plugged into, and you make that connection via the back of one of the temples here. Once connected, the Enreal Air will either mirror the screen of the connected device or provide augmentation through the Nebula smartphone app. There are a couple of other accessories, including this uh, light shade right here if you just want to block out to the outside world and just get immersed into your content. And finally, there is a glasses attachment that you can get outfitted with your own prescription, so you don't need to wear the whole setup over your existing pair or have to wear contact lenses. So far, I've had to go with the contact lens route, but I do plan on getting these set up with my prescription at some point soon. Looking at the actual glasses, I already mentioned, they look pretty normal. It doesn't take much to realize that someone wearing these has more going on than just correcting their eyesight, but they still are well designed enough that they are easy to transport and to blend into a situation like using them for a long flight. As you can hear here, the temples are a little bit adjustable and there are speakers in them so that you can hear what you're playing or interacting with from the connected device. But in all honesty, I kept two truly wireless earbuds most of the time alongside the Enreal Air. Just so you know, not all Android smartphones are compatible with the Enreal Air, so make sure you do hit those links down below so that you'll find out if the one you have will work with it. But once you are connected, you just open up the Nebula app and you can choose one of two experiences. Now the obvious one is over here on the right, it's air casting, which is basically a mirror mode. And it will just mirror what is happening on your smartphone. You'll get a virtual version of your home screens and everything that you would do just swiping through everything only it's right in front of your face. You would use this to access your media and comfortably enjoy what amounts to a huge display without needing a huge amount of space. But of course these are AR glasses so let's blend the two worlds together. By hitting AR space you're given a whole workstation that floats right above your rear world surroundings. They can be tracked either via your head movements or just tracked based upon your current position of your body. You get access to certain applications that give you other methods of watching content like on YouTube but there are other apps as well like the Amazon app for you to do some shopping in the AR space and you also have a browser for general use. There are a couple of other experiences including a virtual tour of real world locations which can then be used in an exercise setting. It's not something that I personally tried out but I can see how it can provide a similar type of enhancement to like those screens that are on stationary bike machines uh, that have a screen on them to show off like real world locales that you're cycling through. So that would be connections to mainly Android devices uh, via the Nebula app. But let's go into what is new here and that would be compatibility with Apple devices. And by Apple devices, I'm talking basically all current Apple devices from iPhones to even MacBooks. And that will be all due to this particular accessory, which is an HDMI adapter. You can see here that the adapter is here with one connector that also has an adapter on it so that you can connect anything via HDMI to it. Aside from that, however, you can also use Apple's own HDMI connector with the lightning jack you can slot that in perfectly, and then this will connect to your iPhone. 
Also, one thing you need to bear in mind is that the HDMI adapter does have a battery in it. So while the glasses are just powered by whatever they're plugged into and don't have a battery, the HDMI adapter does. So you do have to make sure it has charge so that it can convert its connections accordingly. Anyway, let's get back to the iPhones. You have the little adapter up here and then you put in the Apple connector. And from there, you just get it connected to the smartphone. On the other end of the adapter is where you plug in the glasses themselves. Now, from there, the mirror mode is automatic and you get a full view of your iOS interface. What's funny here is I'm actually reading my script right now using Google Docs on the iPhone, uh, but through the glasses. However, if I wanted to just read my script from the teleprompter as usual, uh, there's a button up here on the front that you can press to turn off the screens and then you can see right through the actual glass of the Enreal Air. Now, mind you, the mirror modes mean that the connected device does have to stay on. So battery life is really based on whatever the Unreal Air is plugged into. But what I love most about the iOS integration is that AirPlay becomes the methodology. That means if you're browsing around somewhere like, let's say, YouTube, and then you select something to play, it will actually just give you the full, full screen experience in the Unreal Air while the phone turns into something like a, almost like a remote of sorts. You can see here I'm playing Everything Everywhere all at once. Fantastic movie, and I finally got to watch it for the first time very recently, and I did it through the Unreal Air glasses. Speaking of which, in that situation, I did switch the audio output to the AirPods Pro 2, but you can still watch the movie or any of that content through the speakers in the glasses. They're not too bad, uh, but you do want to get more immersive, so maybe you just put in like truly wireless earbuds, turn on that ANC, and you get really immersed, and it's really enjoyable. Even here in the office, I don't really have a TV in here anymore, so if I do decide to like take a break and watch something for a little while, I've actually just been grabbing the glasses, plugging the iPhone 14 Pro in and watching the big screen that way, even lying down on the couch. Since the screen is quite literally on my face, the content follows my every move, so I'm very immersed. Because obviously when you put on the Unreal Air, you have an expectation of like focusing on whatever's going on there. But this is supposed to be a pair of AR or augmented reality glasses, so it does mean that you can still do certain things on the periphery very comfortably. All right, I mentioned MacBooks, so that's where we'll plug into next. The Unreal Air gets treated like an extra display in the Mac OS settings, making it so that the glasses are either a mirror of your main display or an actual secondary display. I will admit that while having the glasses on and with it all following my gaze, I found it a little bit difficult to have a monitor and the glasses at the same time. Perhaps unsurprisingly, when having the glasses on, it will be your main display. That being said, playing content and browsing the web and doing just about anything is the same, only through the glasses it is at 1080p resolution. But even when compared to 4K or 2K monitors, the workable area is huge because you have that whole virtual space. Aside from media consumption, I can see this being a way for me to get stuff done while like on a plane, mainly for the sake of comfort. I mean, of course, when you have like a laptop and it's down on the seat tray in front of you, you're like craning your neck down to view what you're watching. And it's gonna be a little bit uncomfortable when I'm like trying to write the script or I'm trying to edit the video. Um, so, with the glasses, I would be able to do that way more comfortably. Finally, we have some last places to plug these glasses into. Let's get some gaming done. You can certainly do game streaming via connected smartphones and Bluetooth-enabled controllers to those smartphones, uh, or you can get into the AR space and access things like the Xbox Game Pass via the browser. But with the Unreal HDMI adapter, you can plug HDMI sources into the glasses and get that large 201 inch display for all of your gaming needs. Now the refresh rate of the 1080p display is 60 hertz, so you're not looking at these as a hardcore gamer. Casual general gaming is going to be just fine on here though, and it's for that reason I'm showing this off with the Nintendo Switch that's in my office. Works out because again, I don't have a TV in my office anymore, and the Unreal Air are a more than worthy replacement for the Switch's output. Putting aside the HDMI adapter for a second, but sticking to gaming, I have a little bit of extra credit to show you. The Unreal Real Air works straight through the USB-C port of the Steam Deck. Now that's going to be one scenario I do often, and the Unreal Air are thus a great accessory for the Steam Deck. You'll just have to contend with the battery life from the Steam Deck from time to time. And if you think the Unreal Air have a little bit of a cyberpunk vibe to them, well, they'll probably be my way of finishing Cyberpunk 2077. And ultimately, these glasses have just been a blast, and they're one of the most unique ways to get a big screen experience. Since they're so portable and now work with way more devices thanks to that HDMI adapter, the Unreal Air have remained in my bag, so they're available whenever I feel like getting lost in some media or maybe some games. But not too lost, of course, because the glasses still allow me to stay in my immediate surroundings comfortably. The Unreal Air AR glasses are now available here in the US, and you can learn more about their widening availability via the link in the description and in the pinned comment below. I want to give Unreal another big thanks for sponsoring this video and for outfitting me with a pair of Air glasses that I'm sure I'm going to be using quite often. But for more on AR tech just like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Sound off by hitting the like button and by getting into the comments. But with all of that said, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Please take care of yourselves and each other, and enjoy your tea, everybody.